times were hard, growing up as I did in the north of England. My parents both worked, but still had to make do with a car each, four square meals a day, and just the two bathrooms between the three of us, but we made the best of it. Sometimes weeks would go by without a holiday abroad, and at home all I had for company were mother and father, my friends and family, neighbours, school chums, pet cats, and at that time just the 42 channels on Sky. But it didn't get me down, because sometimes, between the usual steak suppers, meals out, and the kind of dinner parties that had only four precariously assembled desserts on offer, I'd be collected from school, greeted by my mother, serene in the knowledge that her hot pot was bubbling away quietly in smeg. A traditional hot pot is made just with lamb, potatoes and onions, but with a few additions, this is a dish that can really sing. Brush the base and sides of a deep baking dish with melted butter. Arrange a layer of thinly sliced potatoes. Brush with more melted butter and season with salt and pepper. Repeat the process, making a second layer in the same way. Put the lamb, carrots and onions in a bowl Sprinkle with flour and plenty of salt and pepper. Then dusting off the excess as you go, arrange the mixture over the top of the potatoes. Bury in two or three bay leaves, and then sprinkle with two or three good glugs of Worcestershire sauce. Sprinkle over the chopped garlic, the chopped capers, and the finely chopped anchovies. Give it a good grind of black pepper and pour in some lamb stock. Then arrange two more layers of potatoes, just as before, and pouring the remaining stock. Top it off with one more neatly sliced layer of spuds, cover and bang in a medium oven. After about two hours, brush the top with more melted butter and put back in the oven uncovered to crisp up. Serve with some pickled red cabbage and enjoy. 